This perspective JavaScript DigiArt Quick Tool can only be used after you've downloaded the free Perspective Path DigiArt Quick Tool from my website, freddyart.com. The benefit of having this perspective JavaScript is it speeds up the creation of the perspective grid by performing some of the tedious tasks automatically. So we're about to see an example here of what that means. Once you have your first point of perspective in position, the way that you activate this perspective JavaScript is by going in Photoshop, going to File, Scripts, and then just click on Digi Quick Tool Perspective. The JavaScript looks inside of the Photoshop document or the layer group that you're working in, if you're working in subgroups, and it looks to see if there's another layer that has the word perspective in the name. If it does, then it behaves differently, but since this is the first time we're using it in this file, we'll see what it does as we go along. So the first time you use it, it creates a new layer, calls it first point of perspective, it strokes the path in blue for you, and it even color codes the layer itself blue. Next, we locate the second point of perspective that we want to use. And once we get the perspective path into position, we go back to File, Scripts, and activate the JavaScript again. This time, the JavaScript reads that there's another layer in the document, or if we were in a subgroup, it would just look inside that group. It sees that perspective has been used one other time, so it behaves differently. This time it strokes the path with a red color, and it color codes the layer with red. And it names the layer second point perspective, or two point perspective. For the third point of perspective, once we get the perspective path into place, and we go again to file scripts, and then we activate the JavaScript, it sees that this is the third time it's been activated, and it creates a third layer it strokes that path in green and color codes this third point perspective layer with the color green. Now if you're into the MC Escher sort of idea and you're creating a, a drawing that has a fourth point of perspective then we've thought of that as well. And here I'm just gonna give example by just putting the point of perspective smack dab in the middle. But the fourth time you would activate it it strokes it in a, a bit of a hot pink, and that's to notify you that you're entering another dimension, a fourth dimension. That's the benefit of using the DigiArt Quick Tool of the Perspective JavaScript. It just cuts back on the time from having to manually choose your color to stroke the path, or manually create those layers and set them to multiply mode and color code them yourselves. Here the last thing that I do is to highlight all the different perspective layers, add them to a group called perspective, just to keep them in a nice orderly folder, so to speak. This concludes the DigiArt Quick Tools tutorial for the perspective JavaScript. Don't forget to visit freddyart.com for more tips and DigiArt Quick Tools.